In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can digitally sign a document in Microsoft Word. So the first thing we need to do here is just install our certificate snap-in. So we'll launch up Microsoft Management Console. Then what we'll do here is we'll just add the snap-in. And the one we want to add here is we just want to add certificates. So we'll come down to certificates. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add this in. We want to add it from my user account and select finish. Now we've done that, we'll select OK. And we'll just maximize this up a little bit. So we'll just expand this up. And then what we'll do is we'll just right click on personal. And what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to come to all tasks. And we're going to request a new certificate. So we'll just select next and then before you begin, we want to configure Active Directory Enrollment Policy. So we'll select next. What we're then going to go for is we're just going to go for a user certificate. Once we select that, we'll select Enroll. So now we're successful, just select Finish. And now we've just created our certificate. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to close down the Microsoft Management Console. We don't need that anymore. And then what we'll do is we'll launch up Microsoft Word. And now in Word, what we're going to do here is we've just come to the Insert menu here. We're going to come along, we're just going to come to the little signature box here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the little drop down here. And what we want to do is we just want to come in here and we just want to click on the Microsoft Office signature line. So what we'll do here is we'll just fill out the table. So what we're going to do here, suggested signer is me, Brian. Suggested signer's title for example manager, I'll put his administrator. And the suggested signer's email address, we've just got that wrong. Just need to change that to at adapen.com. And instructions to the signer here, before signing this document, verify the content you are signing is correct. Because one of the things that happens when we digitally sign a document is we don't really want to edit it because that could modify things like integrity checks. So we'll select OK at this point here. Now we've done that, the next thing we want to do here is we just actually want to sign the document. Next thing to do then we'll just right click and we will just sign the document. So as we can see I've just got a little pop up before we can add signatures. We must save the document in a format that supports digital signatures. Do I want to do that? Yes I do. So now we've saved it, we'll just right click again. We'll just come down to sign again. And as we can see it brings up a slightly different box. Now we've saved it off in the right format. So what I can do at this point here is I can just type my name in, or I could select an image, so I could actually have an image of my signature. What we'll also do down at the bottom here, just signing as administrator, issue by datum CA, we'll just click the change button. This is the certificate that we just created, so we'll select OK. Now we'll select our certificate, we'll click sign. And just to show this, your signature has been successfully saved with this document. If the document is changed, my signature will become invalid. So I have digitally signed my document. And as we can see now, mark this final. An author has marked this document as final to discourage editing. Now I could click on edit anyway. I'm not going to. Let's close that down. So now if I come in. Doesn't matter where I click can't do anything with the document. And as you can see down at the bottom there, this modification is not allowed because we've locked out the document. And that's the end of this demonstration of digitally signing a Word document.